His office may be cluttered, but 23-year-old Mark Andreessen has brought rhyme, reason, and maybe soon the masses to the mystifying world of the internet. It just seemed to make sense. We have these really powerful networks with these really powerful computers on everyone's desks, um, and no software to actually use on them. Like everyone else on the internet, Andreessen used to browse the global network of computer networks by tapping out a lexicon of arcane commands. Andreessen turned the commands and the endless lines of text into this, a point-and-click tool for navigating the World Wide Web, which seamlessly links computers all over the world. It's called Mosaic, and Andreessen wrote it two years ago while he was an undergrad at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Mosaic does for networks much um, as the Macintosh desktop or, or as Windows did for PCs. Instead of having to actually use um, cryptic commands, having to type in command strings um, with specific locations of files or information, you can just point and click on things that you're interested in. Simple. Simple. Simple, and simply taking the world of cyberspace by storm. Businesses, large and small, universities, museums, government entities, and anyone else willing to invest the time and money are establishing graphically rich destinations for internet users. They are called home pages, and about a dozen new ones are popping up on the net every day. People are very impressed um, with uh, the information that's there, the form that it's presented in. Mary Jane Nesbitt runs a small consignment shop in the San Francisco area. She maintains a home page on the internet for about $20 a month. With an estimated 30 million users all over the world, the internet clearly offers much more reach than she needs. But it's still much cheaper than advertising locally. I can uh, spread the word about who I am and where I am um, in a way that uh, I couldn't afford. Um, other, I couldn't afford to do TV, I couldn't afford to do radio. Spreading the word and luring visitors is what prompted Atlanta's Michael C. Carlos Museum to open a home page designed by Allison Nichols. And no matter how good your mosaic pages are, it's still not like seeing it. No, not at all. What we're trying to do is uh, whet the appetite, get people to want to come in and see the pieces in person. Of course, there are a lot of people who are accessing this that don't have any opportunity to come here. And the home page offers people easy electronic access to works in the museum collection, which are not on display. Like these 19th century French watercolors buried in a basement storeroom. The general public wouldn't be able to see this unless they made it at an appointment and wanted to see a specific work. So far, the electronic version of the Carlos Museum has attracted 15,000 visitors from 33 countries. We want museums to be visited and seen as pertinent to people's lives. So anything we can do to make that happen, we'll do using this technology. Allison Nichols says using this technology is relatively simple. She had no computer expertise when she began designing the Carlos homepage about a year ago. Is this what's going to bring the Internet truly to the masses? I hope so. I, hope, I think this is really growing, and I think it's here to stay. But for all its promise, easy access to the Internet like this is still not truly practical for most home computer users. Conventional phone lines will send the graphics and the audio clips, but at a painfully slow pace. So for now, this will be primarily useful at businesses and universities which have special high-speed connections to the Internet. It's not a sort of really easy, tight, solid solution yet. It certainly is a huge leap from where we've come, but it's still for those who are more inclined to sort of play with computer technologies. Limitations or not, Mark Andreessen's Mosaic has invited plenty of competition. There are now several similar programs designed to make net surfing easier. But then if the header is not quite perfect, exactly. And even Andreessen is competing with his original program. He and a dozen friends from college are hoping to cash in on the idea at a Silicon Valley company called Netscape Communications. Their Netscape internet browser looks and feels much like Mosaic. We want to bring it to everyone who uh, possibly ever has a use for it. And over time, we think that's everyone. And we want to make it really easy and really straightforward and, and, and really compelling to, to experience it. For all the hype, right now the Internet remains the dominion of a narrow group of computer-savvy individuals. A whole new group of net surfers could ride this next wave into cyberspace.